G'day, my name is Jared Davis, and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to import words and letters from CorelDRAW into SPT32 software. Many people prefer to import their words and letters from CorelDRAW into SPT32 to cut on their Gunnar CMCs rather than, in, rather than using the built-in integrated font mode because imported fonts from CorelDRAW will allow you to cut smoother, tighter, smaller fonts uh, more successfully into Matboard than you can using the integrated font mode. So let's get started, shall we? On the toolbar on the left hand side, I want you to click on the text tool. So we click on here. And then in the drop down menu at the top here, you can choose your font. Now these fonts are all gathered from the Windows font directory. So if ever you want to import your own font, you can copy it into the Windows fonts directory. Here I'm going to use a font that I'm familiar with called Boink. And when this text attributes box comes up, I'd like you to click OK. And here I want you to change the font height to 400. I recommend working at 400 points. And click Enter. And once again, the text attributes co box comes up. Just click OK. And now here we can drop our cursor on the screen where we want to position our font. So we click our cursor there. And we type in the letters we want. Happy birthday. Well done, I spelt it right. And here, that is all one object at the moment, so I can uh, choose my pick tool again and I can move this around. But it's all one object and Gunnar SPT32 does not understand this as points and coordinates and lines yet until we make a couple of changes. So in order to see those changes clearly, the first thing I want you to do is change the view mode. So we're going to go to view, and change to wireframe. So that way we can see what the Gunnar will see without any fill. And I want you to go to arrange and convert to curve. So we're going to change this from fonts and letters into shapes. And as you can see now we've got lines and dots which indicate that they are vectorized shapes. And also I want you to change everything into broken apart. So rather than all being joined as one grouped object, if we select break apart, what we will be able to do now is individually select our letters and move them where we want. So here you can grab, click and drag your letters, create more space between the letters if you want, move them apart or whatever you choose. Okay, now here we're almost ready to copy this into SPT32. Uh, one last thing we need to do is to supersize it. Now when I say supersize, we like to make it bigger. I'm going to move this across here so you can see. Now I'm going to zoom out using the mouse wheel on the mouse, you can zoom out. And I'm going to make a guideline here at 1000 millimeters. 1000 millimeters is close to 40 inches. And I'm going to select the lot as one group, and I'm going to grab this corner with the mouse and click and drag, and drag it out to over 1,000 millimeters wide. The bigger you make it in CorelDRAW, the more accurate and the smoother it will cut in SPT32. It copies across a lot more detailed information. So supersizing is good for any importing you do from CorelDRAW, whether it be fonts, letters, shapes, whatever you design. Supersize it, make it bigger, wider than a meter, and you'll get better results. So as you can see there, I've made it bigger. And uh, what you can do also, before we copy it, I just want to point out one more thing. You can adjust some of these points and nodes. Can you see the H here? I'm going to zoom in. You see the bottom part of the legs here? This gap here may actually be too small, and it may fall away. By the time you cut two bevels in here, um, this might fall away, depending on how small you make this font. So if you want to make some adjustments, you can do that. Just go over to your Shape tool here on the toolbar, and here you can now use your Poetic License to make slight adjustments to the shape overall and that may make it cut out more comfortably. So don't forget that you can modify your fonts and letters and so depending on the font and the design or the shape of the letter and the curve you can always test cut first, always test cut into matboard first before you cut anything for real and then have a look and see what you like and you can always then come back and, and make any adjustments to any letters that you want so it'll cut out more comfortably. Given that, that, that everything there is OK, once again I'm going to choose our pick tool and I'm going to select everything with the lasso there so it's all selected as one object. So to copy this into SPT32, we're now going to go Edit and then down to Copy and that copies it to the Windows clipboard. So I have SPT32 running in the background so I've changed over to that. And now I'm going to hit this button for Paste Clipboard bar Data. And here it's asking me where to position it and where to put it. Now you can see there it's looked to copy it as a one-to-one -one ratio from Corel Draw. By no means do I want to cut it that big. I only want to cut it, say, 300 millimeters across. And also make sure that your, your checkbox for closed polygons, proportional, and set as default are all checked. And make sure your tangential settings is set for 36 by adjusting this bar. If all of those things are OK, now click Enter. 
to lock it in and now the software is going to generate this on the right hand side so that we'll be able to see our shape and there it is happy birthday so here you can move this like any shape or objects in uh, SPT32 like openings one thing you may want to do is you may want to remove your internal fallouts um, you may even want to copy them save them into a separate file and cut them later because um, they do get in the way of cutting and some people prefer to cut them later out of some offcuts and stick them back in easier um, once you test cut this you might find some of the spacing between these letters is way too tight and by the time you've got bevels there it overlaps and cuts out and everything cuts into each other so you might want to make some more adjustments to the spaces so what you can do I'll show you a trick you can say grab the Y out and move it out quite a distance lasso the whole row go across to your arrange tools and then use your equal space horizontal button and that will evenly distribute a little bit more space between each of the letters and of course then if you move it too much you can center it all in the same line of sight again so by all means you need a test cut and you can make your adjustments accordingly before the uh, space is required you may even find you have to go back to Corel Draw and make adjustments there let me show you one more trick before we move on I'm going to go back to Corel Draw you can have a look at our happy birthday shape here I'm going to select this and move it down here, center it. And I'm going to make some little changes here. I'm going to move this Y and I'm going to make the Y overlap the P a little bit. And I'm going to make this P overlap its friend there as well. And I'm going to grab this A and make it overlap as well. And look, if you want to be fancy, keep in mind you can also click on an object to make give you the rotate options and I can rotate it round a bit too, just to jazz it up a little bit more and make that overlap as well. Now I'm going to click and lasso and select those internal fallouts, put them aside here for a second. I'm going to grab all those letters out that make up the word happy, and can you see in the toolbar up here there's a, there's a cool tool called weld, and what that will do is it will merge all of those shapes into one object. And so now what I can do is I can grab those internals, put them back in, select all of that, and we go to edit, copy once more, that's in the Windows clipboard, go back to SBT32, for now I'm just going to delete this out of the way so you can see what I'm going to do and I'm going to go back to hit our paste button once more and this time I only want the font height to be say 55 mils high once again all the three checkboxes are ticked hit enter to lock it in and it will generate it on the right hand side so now we have a cool shape where it's happy all as one shape all merged together so that's also how you use the uh, world tool in Corel Draw as well so I hope that helps you out and gets you started cutting words and letters and fonts. Practice makes perfect, as they say. Uh, good luck with your future designs, and I hope you enjoy using Corel Draw and SBT32 together to create new and fun designs with your Gunnar CMC.